Yo, I'm back with another video. I've had a couple of weeks of not filming again because I've got a lot going on behind the scenes and it's actually like super exciting at the minute. Everything's going pretty good, apart from Finn. Finn's not been great. I'll catch up with that in a moment. I thought though, because I've, I've had some time off and it's allowed me to get back watching YouTube, watching my favourite YouTubers, my heroes, Supercars of London, Seb Delaney, Archie Hamilton, that other guy with loads of money, and I love how they're doing their supercar journey. They get their RH, they get whatever they want, and then, can you hear that? <laughs> and they do this amazing, you know, I'm left on the edge of my seat when they get these cars, I'm like, whoa, I wonder what they're definitely gonna do to them. I wonder what creativity and magic they're gonna put into those cars, and then one of them drops a new wrap. <gasps> Fuck a new rap. Oh shit on there. They're fucking 150,000 pound car. They got a big sticker. Wow. And then guess what? A fucking exhaust that they got sponsored for for free anyway. So wow. Wow. What creativity. They deserve their hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Anyway, I want to join this supercar party. I want to get a fucking rap. I want to get a new exhaust. But what car can I do that on? What car can I join this supercar party? I thought for so long I've, I've always dreamt of owning one of these cars. Oh, I still get shivers down my spine. Every day I'm like, wow, that would be amazing. Walk outside, go to my garage, flip it open like that. And there is, there my dream car. And it's happened. Let's go. I'm so excited to show you guys my new whip. There she is, boys! <laughs> My new supercar! So, this is actually my new car. I'm not joking when I say that, but um, as you can see, I was taking the piss a little bit in the intro. So yeah, there she is. I wasn't actually gonna do any videos on this. I've had it a week and I was just like, well, I don't think anybody's gonna give a shit, but I just thought, um, I just thought since I've been out on shoot with a girl called Ellie, she's been modeling our new Bandit Supply Co merch, plug, 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 I wanted to get back behind the lens and do a YouTube video. And I thought, well, do you know what? Let's have a bit of fun and do a bit of a take the piss video on my new daily. So it's a two liter, hang on. It's a blue motion. I, sorry, I don't know fuck all about this car. I bought it because I needed a practical whip. Um, as you guys know, if you're new to the channel, you obviously won't know, Ooh, what's that? If you don't know, I also work for the family business now. We do office furniture, we do a lot of importing goods and stuff like that, so, uh, and product sourcing, so we have a lot of samples come in. I needed something that had a load of luggage space, and I also needed, obviously, if it opens, yes, somewhere for Finn to go. So, I've got this cool boot liner, 80 fucking one pound, by the way, and, uh, if, it, if I stay, I haven't tied it up around the things yet, like I should have. But um, yeah, eighty-one pound for the uh, quilted boot liner, but it does that too, which I think is pretty fucking good. And then, uh, hang on, let me put, put that. Up. There we go. Oh, and then we've got the uh, fifty-pound cushion for Finn, so it feels like a bed. And then we've got the Halfords dog guard. Thank you to the lad that served me. I can't remember your name, but you were very polite. Thank you very much for helping me out there. Then. Ooh, listen to that click. We've got the 621 and Bandit Supply Co. Two tone stickers available on the website. Plug, plug, plug. So, in the back, we've got my, uh, oh, well, it's way dark. In the back here, we've got my Jack Wheels umbrella because I'm an old man now, so I can get away with having that in here. Anyway, we've got the seats, as you can see. I've got some new mats. They're, um, I don't know if you can see. I've got, can you see my new mat? I've got some new mats off eBay. They're pretty good. They fit perfect, big up the eBay seller. Um, there's a little, little uh, bit of issue there on the seat, little rip. Uh, look how professional I am, I am a fucking supercar YouTuber. Oh, camera, the camera bag over there open. So, inter interior damage on here is this. Um, it's got 124,000 miles on it now. Come on, come on. Look at that, woohoo! So, here we are, in the fucking cockpit. Beautiful whip, actually, give me my fish iron, with fish iron, so, I really like the whip, mainly because it's got Bluetooth, so I can play my music through the, uh, the radio, like, you know, it's pretty, pretty sick, I haven't had that in a long time. On the steering wheel, you've got all of these things, and I tell you what, right, I've never had a normal, wait, who's texting me? No one ever texts me! Okay, cool, so, 
sorry about that. For some reason, I'm super popular today. So, basically, the whip itself, yeah. Oh, look at that. Fucking oh, good lens. Look at the mileage, man. 620 MPGs. Oh, no. 620 miles left in the tank of the whip. And I've already done a quarter of a tank. The car gets, like, 700 miles to a tank, which is nuts to me. Absolutely fucking nuts. Should we go outside and have a little fucking look around here? Oh, beast! So... I do the window just in case it fucking locks. So here we are. So it's a 12 plate. Shit. It's a 12 plate. It's got running lights. So I think that's good. Um, it's obviously not a top spec one, but I didn't want a top spec one because I don't like leather seats that much. And I didn't really want a sat nav because it had been old news anyway. It's got a DSG gearbox. Pretty stoked on that to be fair. It's actually decent. It's got the uh, 621. A fucking airy in there. Actually, I should show you, really, shouldn't I? So, I don't know what colour it is, but it's blue. Bluey, silvery, grey. But yeah, we've also got the new fucking bandit. Oh, motherfuckers! Yeah, yeah, oh. Fuck's sake. There we go. New. Oh, fuck's sake! Why am I struggling so hard? Bandit Supply Co. Keychain. Baby! So, yeah, pretty sick. Oh, we're recording. Shit. Oh, fuck. Neutral drive. Ooh. So, road test time. Because I know that's what you all super want out of a diesel automatic Passat. So, uh, let's go. Find the road, boys! <laughs> Shit's fast, man! Fucking rapid, boys. I'm telling you. Fuck's sake, what's this lock piece of shit? Oh, I hate this auto stop shit as well. Fuck off. Why would this not fucking lock in position? Oh, I need to buy a new one of these. This is fucking crap. This auto off thing that these new whips do. It's the biggest pain in the fucking ass. Let's go. We're on a road test. Road test, road test. Let me just go find a, a road. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty fucking gritty bits. Come on, you piece of shit, make me brighter. Nitty fucking gritty bits about this whip. Okay, so, two litre, 139 brake horsepower. I think, I think it's that. I only know that from the auto trader guy, so it may be less. Right, let me be honest, I bought this car because I needed a normal car, man. Like, my Nissan's clutch is gone. I was borrowing my mum's car, the CRV. That was meant to be a week long deal like I got to borrow the car for a week while my car was getting worked on it turned into a year and a half so I felt horrible I was like I have to I didn't want to oh my god oh, I forgot it's the bike night tonight I didn't want to go buy a new whip at all and I was looking at E36s I was looking at the E9 E39 Beamers I just couldn't find any that were nice enough to, to use as a daily car and I knew how many mileage uh, much mileage I was going to be doing so I knew how much mileage I was going to be doing. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck. So I knew how much mileage I was going to have to be doing with the new job. And obviously my plan for next year that I've almost organised is to take the BMW up to Driftland and leave it there. And I will leave it there for the summer. And it means I'll be going back and forth, whether that is via aeroplane or via driving. So I was like, well, I want something diesel that gets sick MPG. Now this get sick mpg it's a completely sensible option which i can't believe i've done but i am nearly 28 so i guess that is one of the reasons why i ended up buying it i can't pretend that i'm super buzzing about it but at the same time if you're following me on twitter i do talk about how much i love this shit it's super comfy as you can tell it's super quiet the firestone tires on the front are fucking shit and they make so much noise so i will change them when i do enough burnouts on this front wheel drive wagon but I have to admit the sound system is fucking brilliant for a standard car it's absolutely banging I'd show you but I forgot to hook my phone up now actually I don't know will it work oh no I have to touch my phone while I'm driving and I don't I'm trying to, I don't like people on their phone when they're driving so I'm trying to cut all that shit out but overall it's fantastic it's super comfy the steering wheel one thing for me is how the steering wheel feels and the steering wheel feels absolutely wonderful it's very soft, very nice leather. 
It's got all the hand controls on there. It's got the Bluetooth. I can have my phone linked up finally. I've got Bluetooth in a car, so I no longer ever have to touch the phone. Um, it's a 12 plate as well, which is way newer than what I thought I was gonna be able to afford, but this one, because it had the higher mileage on, full service history, DSG box, had the service done as well, so it's all good. Um, I paid next to nothing, really, for what, in reality, what this is worth. Oh, Max, see if he notices me. Yeah, 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 you see me. <laughs> I want to do a video on that car as well. We've been really slacking on the videos over the last month or so. Um, personal stuff going on, especially with Finn being ill, I just didn't feel happy to come on camera and then get abused in the comments. So, <laughs> yeah. But overall, this whip is brilliant. For me, it's going to do great things. And I'm also going to take this opportunity now to talk to you about what's going on. Um, we've got new like, merch dropping. This uh, Bandit Supply Co. and 621 both have a couple of new lines come out. New snapbacks, um, which I'm, I'm not wearing. <laughs> um, I've got the new snapbacks coming out as well. They're out now. They're on the website right now. I'll leave the links in the description if you want to go and purchase something. It definitely helps the brand. And obviously, it feels awesome to see people rocking the brand as well. And... I, what's happened with the BMW, that's going to be fixed up soon. I'm going to be at Santa Porta for a couple of times this winter. And then uh, S15, I've got a new clutch and flywheel going that. I need to book that in and get it done. I've spent so much money this month, it makes me feel fucking sick. So I just want to calm down a little bit and relax when it comes to money. I don't want the stress. I don't want to feel like fucking I'm going broke or whatever. So, yeah. Working out the shop, everything's going amazing. We've had a ridiculously busy day today as well really good kieran's working very very hard as well um we're gonna be at jae and that should be a lot of fun I'm gonna have a trade booth there and it'll be wicked i'm really looking forward to it and i haven't been to jae for a few years so it should be pretty sick um what else have we got going on yeah basically it really dudes so this do two liter it's got some talk talks talks so uh I need, I might try and put that on this as well, on this end's got. Yeah! Power! It's all right though. I know I take the piss, but it's actually a decent whip. I'm actually really happy with it, even though it's like the blandest whip ever. It's nice, it's comfy, it's smooth, it's nice, it's comfy. <laughs> That's about all I can say. <laughs> what have I done? No, but for real, I needed a car like this, I really did. Also, I just wanted to tell you, tell you guys, I'm really starting to try and get back and build the blog again. I really, really, really love blogging. Like, as much as I enjoy the YouTube now, I think getting behind a camera and creating photos is one of my favourite things ever. And also, when you're editing, you get to listen to music. So that, that's, that's amazing. I love that. Um, so check out the 61 blog. I mean, I, I, I'd kind of like you to subscribe to our mailing list. That's like the easiest way for me to go, yo, I've dropped a new blog post, yo, if you want to go check it out, yo. And we're trying to work with more local girls to get them in our clothing and then put it on the blog too. So I've just worked with Ellie. Um, this is her Instagram down here, at VW underscore Ellie, I think. And I'm hoping I get to work with Yelena again soon, who is this fucking little Filipino babe, sorry, name. No. I'm also going to be going to the Rock and Drift Day, going to blog there. May vlog, I don't know, I don't know yet. I broke my cannon, um, I dropped it. Uh, the 7 G7X, whatever it's called, and it's kind of annoying, I guess. But I shaved, I shaved today, and I've done it way too short. I feel like a fucking baby face. Fuck, damn it! And I wear large t shirts still, and I've lost a bit of weight, so it's baggy as fuck. I am in the gym way more now, I'm trying my absolute best, but I've got, I've got to be in shape by Vegas next year. That's my goal, not like super in shape, but just more in shape than I am now. Obviously, I do all the content for free. So, you know, I don't, it's not pay per service or whatever, so that's like, by you buying the merch, that's kind of your supporting what, what, what I'm trying to achieve here at 621. And obviously now at Bandit Supply Code too. So yeah, that would be amazing. In fact, fuck it, here's the link if you want to go buy a t-shirt or something. I'll drop the link in there and in the comments below. Yeah, sweet. Oh, and I've just realized, I didn't say if there's any plans for this car. Right now there isn't, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just wanna keep it as a, a car that I can run around in, just smash about in really, and get all over the place in without cracking a sump or curving a fucking expensive wheel. It's nice just to have a car that you care about, but you don't, if that makes sense. Like, I wanna look after it, I want it to run forever. I don't want anybody to crash into it, but if someone did open the door on it, which they did on the fucking second day of me having it.
Oh my god. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all again soon. Please subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.